Some of you might recognize that this question is testing exponential growth. And so we could come up with an exponential equation to kind of capture the situation. But I wouldn't do that mostly because, you know, anytime we get into algebra, we have a higher chance of making a mistake. Maybe we interpret something wrong. Maybe we um, set up our equation wrong. And especially here, because it's, it's, not, it's not a nice um, rate that they're giving us, right? It doubles every three hours. It's a little bit more complicated than just saying it doubles every hour. So I would just do this manually. It doesn't take really that long, right? So kind of make a chart, right? So how many hours have gone by and how many bacteria do we have? So after zero hours, we have 300,000, right? This is a y-intercept, this is a starting point. We need to be able to pull those things out of um, an equation or out of a story, I should say. Then if it doubles every three hours, let's have three hours pass, right? What happens now, well, even without a calculator, I know it's gonna be 600,000. After another three hours, so going to six, it's gonna double again. So you might use a calculator here, but it's uh, 1.2 million here, so 1,200,000. Uh, then after nine hours, it's gonna double again, so 2,400,000. And after 12 hours, again, it's gonna double, so that's 4,800,000. And now we're almost at the 15 hours that we need. So 15 hours is gonna double one more time, and that's 9,600,000. But you probably knew that because we were already past all of the other answer choices, so that gets us D. Um, and like I said, you could have used a calculator here. Uh, if you're smart, you'll kind of do it in a way where you maybe drop uh, the zeros so that you're a little bit easier to see what numbers you've got. Um, but uh, I think that this is just the safest way to go. Literally, you're just multiplying something by two a bunch of times. So everyone can do that. Don't let yourself get intimidated when you get into some, something that you know that in the algebra world is more advanced, right? Exponentials are more advanced than something like lines or parabolas. But we don't even need to go down that route because it, they just tell you what to do. Let arithmetic do it for you. It's much easier and these just makes us much more uh, confident in our answers.